They tried to chill. They tried to give him some grace. And you can see how chill they are. Now, we all know that the police officers' uh, hands are really tied in a lot of instances because they got to wait for you to do something, especially with all of the cameras. I remember back in my day, and I was telling them on a Millionaire Morning Show that we had um, Gang Squad in Detroit back in the day. And Gang Squad was no joke. They was kicking ass and taking names. But now, the more passive and the more chill that police officers become, the more aggressive a lot of these perpetrators. Now, uh, the video was allegedly of a man that was struck by NYPD unmarked car during a pursuit or whatever like that, so on and so forth. And so I don't know what happened preceding this, but all, obviously, cool heads always prevail. Is nothing good that ever comes along with you getting overly aggressive with police officers and it's never going to work out in your benefit at all. And so, first of all, you got a dude over there threatening police officers, saying that he's going to break his jaw and he's going to be coming to work with a wire on his jaw. You cannot do that. You cannot threaten people and think that you're going to get away with it. Now, you might have some cops that be cool about it and they like, you know what? We ain't even going to trip about it, whatever, blah, 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 depending on how it play out. But when you got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight police officers, and we don't even know how many is off camera, when you got a whole bunch of pe a whole bunch, a lot of police officers that sitting around, all you need is one to take it as a threat, and then it go left from there. So you got him over here being overly aggressive when the other cop was just telling him and just moved him out the way like, hey fam, just chill out. And then you got an overly aggressive black woman that's right next to him. And, you know, that's never going to go bad. So now you didn't threaten him. And we're going to see how it plays out from there. See? You see that? And now you got a black woman over there doing a lot. She probably shouldn't even been over there in the first place because he probably, she probably one of the reasons why he got the battery in his back and he feeling hyped up. But see, this this part of the video is called "You Fuck Around and Find Out." Now you know. Now you know. Don't don't start backing up now. Own it. Do what you're gonna do, big dog. Cause see all of that tough talk, man. I, listen, it's old. It's old now. You got the metal bracelets on you, and now we're about to hear this overly aggressive black woman probably claim some level of racism and see how it plays out, man. Are all uh, NY chicks like loud and aggressive and talk like that? Are all, what do you mean no probable cause? You knuckled up, you did like this with a police officer and you threatened them. What did you think was going to happen? How did you think that this was going to play out? You thought that you was going, they was going to wait until you swung and then that was how it was going to play out? Nah, dog, now you got to sit in a cell overnight. And you got to get the metal braces, and we don't know what kind of charges you're going to face. And then you got this other woman that's putting this battery in your back. Man, tell y'all chicks to be quiet, bro. It's nothing more annoying than an NYC chick yelling while you're getting arrested at the same time. Nah, nah, dudes want to start negotiating. They want to start pleading their case. Nah, dog, we seen how it was playing out. Come in, for real. For real, we gotta go home at night? I hope y'all time to 
Let me see if there's anything else to make up out of this um, and what happens. Nothing else to make out of this outside of an annoying woman that continued to make noise and then probably made the situation way worse than it should have been. And a dude that obviously regretted he fucked around and find out. And now he regret running up on police officers when he could have went home. And then solve for whatever issue that he wanted to solve for through the legal system or whatever it is. But it's nothing ever good because what you basically do is you negate whatever it is that you was complaining about in the first place. Here's my question. I'm wondering why he felt so aggressive and why he was threatening that police officer in the first place. Once the police officer is chilling, number one, you just let it go. And that, that goes for anybody. Once you start dealing with somebody that's calm. You know that it's never going to go your way or it's a possibility it can go way left. And so why even continue to entertain that in the first place? Let it go. Chill out. Is is This is one of the reasons why I always tell y'all to don't make decisions based off of your emotions, but make more decisions based off of logic. Maybe you are emotional. Everybody is emotional. Everybody got emotions. But that don't mean that that's what you lean into in order to make the decision for whether or not you're going to go home at night. Now... Yo, people got to spend extra money that they probably didn't have. I don't know. He got the got the little, uh, I don't know, what is that, Chrome Hearts or something like that. He got the pants on, so maybe he got a little bit of money. Who knows? I don't know. It really doesn't even matter. I don't want to spend one, one minute in jail that I don't have to spend in jail over something that could have been avoided simply because y'all wanted to keep it too real. And you see how real he really was because he was starting to negotiate with the police officers after he got the metal bracelets on and he realized he was going down to the precinct and stop letting these women put a battery in y'all back and do stuff that you're not supposed to do when you're not supposed to do it. Be very, very careful. Keep your nose clean. Stay out the, stay out the way and don't threaten people because somebody might take it serious and may go that other way, especially if it's a police officer. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description. Also, make sure that you uh, let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.